Hey, so in this video, I want to give you a quick overview of this AI workflow tool called Lindy AI. I think this is a really good tool for anybody who wants to get into AI automations and AI agent building without having much technical knowledge or experience with AI automations beforehand. So let me show you what I like about this tool, what I don't like about it, and I'll quickly also share my favorite use cases with it. So basically, this is the view that you will see once you have logged in. And right now I have this paid account. Let me show you about the pricing. So there is a free plan and you get 400 credits a month with this, but you can't use any of the premium actions. And based on what I have done so far, I almost always need the premium actions. So I wouldn't say this free plan is that usable. Maybe only a couple of workflows get away with this free plan, but otherwise you have to buy this $50 plan to get 5,000 credits. And if I'm being totally honest, this is my least favorite part of Lindy AI because I run out of these credits really quickly. So I haven't been able to properly test everything out because I'm so afraid of losing all of my credits and then I have to pay for more. So the pricing and the credit system is the biggest weakness of this software. But hopefully they will listen to this uh, feedback and fix it as soon as possible. And let me quickly show you what's in here. So basically on this left menu, you will have all of your agents and AI workflows listed here that you are working on and you can also pick some favorites for example I have this sales call prep here that I have marked as favorites so I can access it really quickly here it's turned on so you can see it here it has this welcome message and I can show you how the flow works so basically if there is a new event scheduled in my calendar and you call and I have also filtered out that the calendar event needs to contain a word discovery this is for my discovery calls then this auto automation gets triggered. And then it uses all of these different steps uh, from LinkedIn, Crunchbase and web search to send me some information through Slack and to my email. And I can quickly show what the email alert looks like. Basically, it sends me 10 minutes before the meeting, an overview of the person I'm meeting with. It's really concise and helpful. And this is an automation that I didn't build myself, but I got it from their template library. So this is another great thing. You don't have to build anything from scratch. If you don't want to, you can just go to and see all of their templates and their there are a lot of those. For example, you can see the medical scribe here, uh, sales meeting recorder, podcast note taker. So lots of these use cases here. But I have also used the meeting note taker, which looks like this. And again, I didn't have to set everything up myself. I just connected all of my accounts and it works out of the box. So having all of these templates here to choose from is definitely a big plus of Lindy AI. Another good thing about Lindy AI is that they are promoting their compliance badges here. And this is definitely important for lots of organizations out there that have more strict requirements when it comes to AI automations or giving any of these tools your data access. So this is definitely a plus on their side as well. And let me quickly show you some of the things I didn't like. I attempted to set up my 2025 content agent. This is something I have built in make.com. So this ultimate content system that I have set up with make.com and it works through Airtable. I attempted to do something similar in Lindy AI and I wanted to use the AI agent for this. And to be honest, it was uh, quite the headache. I got lots of these errors and I run through my credits for the first month so quickly. So I couldn't really make it work. So I think this type of content system still is better done in make.com and using Airtable because it's so predetermined uh, with each step. So you give the input, you pick the route the automation takes, and as an output, you get different type of content. So unfortunately, I couldn't easily recreate it in Lindy AI. I have also tried setting up an agent for a YouTube assistant. I really like the fact that the AI agent workflows are so simple to set up. So basically I just give a prompt, then I give access to all of the skills or the tools or actions I want this agent to be able to do. Here I have given access to a knowledge base. So it's really cool. The knowledge base thing works in a way where I can just chat with this agent and this works through these tasks here. So I can create a new task. And then basically I just say, help me create a new YouTube video, go check out my channel. And for example, here, I asked it to do a web search. I asked it to go into YouTube, find some specific YouTube videos, scrape them. And then there's also an option with prompts to say, hey, I don't want this topic to ever be on your radar. And then it adds this to its memory. And the next time it takes everything into account that's in the memory. And there's no big logic behind it, just in the agent setup. 
I just have to here give access to the knowledge base uh, actions or skills and it does everything for me. So here I gave it access to Appify runners, AI models to write, summarize, also it can do anything with my Notion account, it can browse the web and it can go into YouTube and do different things there as well to scrape different URLs, different content creators. So this is a really cool agent and I've been chatting with this a bit and I like how easy the flow is. So the setup is crazy simple. But again, the only thing is that it runs through the credits pretty quickly. And that means I don't want to come here and use this agent with every random thought. And I think this really limits the usage of Lindy AI. So in conclusion, what I like, the simplicity of setting up agents, the hundreds of templates that I have here and that I can just copy to my account and start using right away. And this means that we don't need to build those complicated N8N automations that are super technical to set up and there's always something breaking. We can just use tools that are so simple to set up and they will have the same results. So for now, I would recommend you to at least try it out for one month with a paid plan. Check out all the templates that you would like to use, set them up for your account and see how valuable this is. And after one month, if you don't want to use it anymore, cancel, but otherwise I'm waiting for Lindy AI to fix their pricing and to be more affordable. And I think they have potential to become the go-to no-code agent builder out there. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you next week. Bye.